Hey guys, so this is my seven week video. You can tell that I am still in these terrible, terrible um, rubber bands. So I got them taken off a week after surgery, literally six days after surgery, and then they just got put on, put on um, six weeks after surgery for whatever reason. Um, I hate them, but they're getting better. I can, I can actually eat now, which is nice. Um, so actually, this video is going to be about orthodontics, um, just kind of how I chose my, my uh, orthodontist, and then um, maybe like a little list of what you need, definitely need for braces and how to like upkeep them. Um, so basically, I only talked to two orthodontists, so I'll call them orthodontist A and orthodontist B. Um, a and B, they cost the same. Um, they're willing to give me the same kind of braces, basically ceramic braces on top and on bottom. A lot of orthodontists will say, well, you only need them on top. And I was very adamant. I said, nope, I don't care. I want them on both. Like, I, I just don't care. And they were okay with that, probably because of my bite. Um, they didn't think that that would be a problem. I hear and I read that that's a problem for a lot of orthodontists because I guess the top teeth tend to... Um, like break the bottom brackets, especially if they're ceramic or plastic or anything like that. Um, so it would have been the same price, the same visual. The difference is um, Dr. A wanted to do what I had heard before from other orthodontists. He wanted to take my lower jaw and push it back. Dr. B wanted to take my top jaw and push it forward. Um, the reasoning he gave for that was that he saw that my tongue is a little bit scalloped like along the edges it's not smooth like this it's like scalloped in um, meaning that my tongue is always resting against my teeth and he thought that that suggested that I had um, like my tongue was a little too big for my mouth or something like that even though I have a really tiny tongue um, but he kept asking if I had trouble sleeping or breathing, if I snore, and I said no. And he said, just to make sure, I would want to move your top jaw forward. So I did hear that um, Dr. B was very into the functionality of things, like less into aesthetics and more into making sure that everything fits right and that it's not impacting your breathing or anything like that. Um, so he was on the super safe side. Um, the other orthodontist thought everything was fine and um, visually, aesthetically, he thought it would look better if my jaw went back. And obviously, you know, as long as the top jaw fits over the bottom jaw and the teeth are lined up, like, seems like everything should be fine. Um, I didn't know which one to go with. Um, the difference in braces, I would say, uh, the first orthodontist, Dr. A, he, I think he had a hand in creating the 3M braces, like the, the advanced ceramic, whatever. Um, so he was really into those. He was not into Damien braces. The other doctor, Dr. B, um, had Damien braces and he was willing to me the ceramic clear Damien braces. So Damien braces, if you don't know, those brackets, they don't require a ligature around each one. So normal braces, you put a wire in there and then each bracket has a little um, rubber band around it to keep it in place. And those rubber bands are what gets dirty. So nowadays, the brackets don't get dirty. The ceramic brackets um, stay clean. So even if you eat curry or whatever, you can just brush your teeth, it cleans it. Um, the rubber bands are what's dirty. So Damien braces don't require those rubber bands. So that means that you can drink whatever you want, you can eat whatever you want, and they're going to stay clean. Um, there could be a downside to it. Maybe the, the mechanism that holds the wire in place, possibly it doesn't hold it tight enough. So some people argue that, you know, that's not as good as the traditional ligature braces. Um, I didn't really know the difference. The way I chose what to do was actually uh, my dentist. So I'm not going to say I'm besties with my dentist, but I do have her cell phone number. Sometimes we text, we've worked out together. Um, so she had told me, she's seen both of their work. Um, I think the community of like dentists and orthodontists and surgeons is pretty tight uh, wherever you go. 
So they'd all heard of my dentist before. Um, and when I asked her about it, she said that she thought, based on what she's seen, that Dr. A's results looked better, um, especially when it had to do, do a surgery. I think she had a friend or a relative go to Dr. B, and she thought that after the surgery, because they had to have surgery also, she didn't think that the end result looked good. Um, I don't know like what she means by look good. Uh, I know that she's Asian, and the person who got it done was Asian. So I just wanted to kind of be safe about it and go, okay, well, possibly, I mean, both of the doctors, the orthodontists, were older white gentlemen. I'm sure they know what looks good. Um, but I was thinking, well, if, if it's like aesthetics versus functionality, I would go with functionality, except there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the functionality of, um, my breathing right now. And so I didn't want to possibly have a face that like came out this way, you know, like, I don't know, like I was thinking like when I did it on Photoshop, it just seemed sort of monkey-ish, like everything just kind of came out this way. So I went with Dr. A. Um, I'm happy with him, you know, yeah, I think I'm happy with him. Things are good. He's really nice. Um, so yeah, so that's how I chose him. Um, and then as for braces, I would say, uh, there are certain things that you want that I personally needed. Some people don't need it. Um, so number one, first and foremost, you must get, must, must, must a water pick. Not a fake water pick, not like a Philips one or whatever. I think the best one is the actual water pick that has settings that go from 1 to 10 because I actually have a traveling water pick and it does not work as well. So make sure that you get a real one if you're going to get one and I absolutely think that you should get one. Um, I use it all the time, every day. If I eat at home and I have a chance to brush my teeth at home, I always use a water, use a water pick first. And then I brush my teeth. Um, and then uh, the other thing that I think is important just when you like are starting to use braces and then also probably right after the surgery when you have a lot of cuts in your mouth is I want to call it like Paroxyl or something. It's just, you know, it's in a blue bottle by Colgate. Um, I love it. It's, I use it, it has like one point something percent hydrogen peroxide and I use it every day, basically, if I have any kind of sores or cuts in my mouth. Um, and then the only other things um, that I think are absolutely necessary, so I don't use wax and instead, and this one is like a child's version, so it's neon orange, but usually it's clear. Um, I use these Max earplugs for swimming. Um, usually you can get it at Target or CVS or whatever. I just couldn't find it this time when I went to CVS and I was in a hurry. But it's non-toxic and they're really, really pliable. So normally wax, I think, is really hard to put in for me. Um, I feel like I'm jamming it in and it doesn't stick right. So this stuff, like it's just really pliable. And then once you put it in, it just like stays. So I really love it. I keep a pack in my purse. I keep a pack at home. I keep one at work. Uh, I love it. Okay. And then the other things that I keep with me at all times is a child's toothbrush because I brush my teeth after pretty much every meal, um, especially if I eat something that I think might stain and just realize I don't even eat. I eat no curry like ever, even before I go to visit the orthodontist because I just I did it once and I found it so disgusting in there, I couldn't handle it. Um, no red wine, no dark sodas, no tomato sauce. I mean, if I eat something, like one bite of something, I might like stick it way in the back and chew and then brush my teeth really quick afterwards. So anyway, I love these toothbrushes. These are Snoopy toothbrushes and they come in a pack of four, and I really like them because they're really low profile, and the head is actually really low profile. So after the surgery, I started using these to brush my teeth, even though I would say the bristles aren't that soft, but I was really gentle, um, and it's just, these are really handy. They're really small and light, 
a lot of them are like really thick. They have like really thick heads, really thick handles for little baby hands. Um, so these are, are really tiny. So they come in packs of four and they're really cheap. I want to say they're less than a dollar each in the end. Um, you have to keep it covered in your purse. So I bought this thing, which again is very low profile, but I'm ridiculous. I bought this in a set of Hello Kitty teeth items that were like $4 and I didn't use any of the other stuff. So there was like picks, like dental picks and stuff like that that I can't use anyway. But I just thought this was so cute and everything else is like really big and thick and I just don't want to carry that around. And actually this fits perfectly. It doesn't like fall off in my purse or anything. Um, and then obviously you need some tiny toothpaste. This was a free trial. I got it um, at like a random table in Target, but any toothpaste. And then my favorite thing, this is my cup. See? So when I go to the bathroom, I usually like put toothpaste on and then I just take this to the bathroom and then I fill it with water, dip it, brush my teeth, and then rinse, rinse, whatever. Um, you do not want to go into public bathrooms and have to be like using both hands and getting your mouth all wet and everything's disgusting and then you have nowhere to put the toothbrush. So this thing is so handy and I love it so much and I use it all the time and it just collapses like that. This is Sea to Summit. That's I think the brand that it's called. Um, and I got it at REI. I'm sure you can get it at Patagonia or anything like that. Any like camping store. I know they sell, Sea to Summit sells like bowls and bigger cups and whatever. So I love it. Okay. So basically that's it. Um, I have like a big list of what you would want for braces on my blog. So if you're interested, you can go there. But that was just hopefully not a super long update on orthodontics and choosing and things like that. So there you go. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you next week.